everybody. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. And today I'm doing a little weekend in my life in LA. Doing another one. I love doing little vlogs. Um, and I just thought I'd bring you guys along with me with whatever I get up to this weekend. So today is Friday. I don't know if I said that. Um, I'm currently just getting ready. I just had a shower. My hair is dry and I've just got these little eye masks on that I bought yesterday. Um, I can't remember the brand. I'll tell you the brand later on when I show you guys what I bought when I went shopping yesterday. Um, but yeah, I've got my little masks on. I've never actually done eye masks before, but I really want to give them a go because these bags they gotta go. So that is something that I'm trying to hopefully get rid of them. Um, right now it is 20 past 11. Um, I'm dressed, I'll do a little OOTD in a minute. Um, but I'm just about to go in the bathroom, clean my teeth and take these off and wash my face before I then crack on and do my makeup to get ready for the day. <laughs> to film as much as I, what I wanted to right now um it's half past one so it's been a few hours since I last picked up the camera but basically after I did my makeup um I was just about to make my lunch and then my nan unexpectedly phoned me which was so nice because I just love to like chat to my family and catch up like I don't talk to her every day so that like when I do speak to her, then I can like update her on my whole week sort of thing. So it's really nice. We do chat for a little while. Um, but I made my lunch and ate my lunch all while on a call. And we had a nice little chin wag. Ignore the messy bed. I just realized you'll probably see that all in the background. We'll ignore that. Um, but I'm going to do a little OOTD. What I might do is do it in my bathroom because the lighting is slightly better. So this is my top that I'm wearing. It's from Brandy Mayville and you probably would have seen it in my haul video actually because I included it in my haul. But yes, from Brandy Mayville, I really love the little lace. It's like quite nice and delicate. Ignore the water. I splash a lot of water on me. So that's why it's in like random dark patches. And then I'm just wearing these purple um, parachute pants that I absolutely love. Um, they go better like you. I put them on with a plain top so I don't really actually like wear these purple ones that much because it just all goes better with like white or like black or grey. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my outfit. So I went to the Grove yesterday which is like a massive shopping, outdoor shopping mall in LA and it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that's pretty much where I've done pretty much all my shopping although there's two other um shopping malls i really want to see but anyway i popped into a couple shops so i went into sephora of course because that's literally the only place i shop at this rate um but i got the rare beauty um mascara in the shade black uh but i'm really excited to use this it looks really good so i'm hoping that's good so i prefer more of a natural look the mascara anyway i don't want like huge lashes so i'm hoping that that'll be perfect for me and i also got a milk makeup blush well it's the it's the cheek and lipstick um in the shade <laughs> i guess is how you pronounce it i'm not sure but 
this one I got and I'm really excited to try that one out. And then of course I went to Brandy Mabel because it's like my new obsession. Um, I got some cute earrings from there. They're just these really thin um, hoops. Like I've never seen hoops that thin. Um, and then I got this really pretty scrunchy, really cute. I like the beige and like the light sort of floral print. I thought it was really cute. So I got that one. And I don't know if you see my other claw clip that I also shown in the haul. I got like a beige one. So this time I got a black one. I thought the black would sort of stand out a bit more. Well, not stand out, but like create a different effect, if that makes sense. Um, and then I also got a white version of this vest top, which I realized earlier when I was showing my nan. It's literally the same as this, but in white. So. That's cute. And I really like it. I know it fits nicely now and obviously it looks nice. So yeah, I got it in white as well. Um, and then in ASOS, because they have a freaking ASOS store store, um, I went to like, the back where they have the beauty stuff and I got Patchology. That was the brand. I got the um, gel eye patches from Patchology. <laughs> Potential is deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being judgmental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you Who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times it feels like nobody is right, yeah So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed uh, I need whatever the hell can make me happy And I don't think you have a clue what could that be They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous Could be special if I get rid of the devils They think that I am a rebel I think they want me to settle There's nobody on my level They think that work is too stressful I think that work is essential The grind is all me to do Something that can make sense So I am back Ow, my hair's caught on Ow, there we go um, so I'm back um, I should have hopefully put in some really nice pictures um, And videos from earlier so i went to the griffin park observatory i can't i can never say that word but that's where i went um it's just freaking beautiful it's absolutely beautiful like literally the views you could literally see you could see the beach and like the ocean you could see like hollywood you could see like beyond you could see downtown la and then you could see the freaking mountains and you can see the Hollywood sign, like mountains with snow on it, and you can see the Hollywood sign. Like it's literally insane. You can literally see everything. If you guys are coming to LA, I 100% recommend that you go there because oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hopefully, the footage I got is good, and you can sort of see how amazing it is. But it's even better in person. It's a really nice little cafe. It sort of reminds me of a canteen, like a school canteen. But the food was good. Oh, well, I say food was good. I just had a brownie. I had a brownie and a drink because I just wanted to get a little snack whilst I was there. And they had seating outdoors. And you got to sit outside and eat with this beautiful view. Um, um, it's literally beautiful. Um, but it was a nice, nice brownie. And I think I'm going to go a bit more often. I need to put my dinner on now. So the time is... 5.40 by the way. Oven to heat up because that takes forever. Anyway, it's Friday, so I'm having a very traditional Friday meal. Can I trust my emotions? Is it the heat of the moment? Cause my heart just exploded when I saw your face. 
Cause your eyes held me captive Ooh. I ain't asking for ransom And I'm still not reacting What am I waiting for? Am I afraid? Am I afraid? I wanna talk to you I should've known, I should've known I should've stopped for you Ooh. That was so good But I am absolutely stuffed um, I need to get all this mess cleared up Got all my dishes I need to put away but I'm gonna get this thing loaded and then put on my washing new. We just talk about how massive these oven trays are. They're literally huge, but I suppose their ovens are huge. So tomorrow is gonna be a boring but productive day. So basically every Saturday is my housework day basically it's adult life and that's what you've got to do so that's what i'm gonna do and um, basically i really need to sort out my um washing it's probably my main priority because i have so much in there from like just over a week now because when i first got here i got here on a wednesday so the following wednesday i didn't really want to do anything because it felt a bit awkward i think i've done like one wash in between but other than that, I really need to get everything else washed. I, me, it's going to the Murder Mystery 2 film premiere. I'm so excited. Obviously, you guys probably don't know. No, you guys probably know, but if you don't know, I'm a huge Jennifer Anson fan. She's actually my idol, my inspiration. Like, I freaking love her. So I saw her a couple weeks ago um at courtney cox's start ceremony that's my first ever time seeing jennifer aniston and lisa kudrow in person i've seen courtney cox in person before but obviously love lisa she's a queen but obviously jen is like literally someone i've looked up to near enough like the last like 10 12 years of my life um so it meant a lot for me to see her in person. I didn't get a photo with her or anything, but I got to see her. Um, we tried out her name, she looked over, she waved, she actually, like looked at me, um, which was literally insane. Um, however, managed to get tickets for the film premiere on Tuesday, and I'm so excited. I'm really, really looking forward to this. I have no idea what to wear. I don't really get like, I don't really get what you wear to these sorts of things. Um, but we're gonna try and get like right at the front, so hopefully we can get a picture with her because. I kid you not, I'll literally turn my, my YouTube profile picture to that picture. Like, th th this is, that's how much it's going to mean to me, okay? Like, it'll generally be insane. And just to, just to know that, like, she's seen my face and she knows I exist. It just means a lot. Um, and because obviously I know she exists and she's literally, like, a massive inspiration. So, I... I don't know, it'll be a literal dream come true. So, so it is now Saturday, which is house cleaning day. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm basically wearing the same thing as yesterday. Let me just come to the mirror. I've literally just got on the white version of the top that I was wearing yesterday that showed you guys in my pool and the same um, purple parachute pants because I really like these, but as I say, they definitely go better with like a plainer top. Um, but my hair and makeup is ready. Put my hair up today because I sort of want it out of the way. Um, it's actually just like a claw clip style sort of thing. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm using my new black claw clip as well. So I'm just going to quickly strip this bed. Will it be quickly for you? Because I'll probably speed it up. But <laughs> strip the bed and then put a load of washing on. I can't wash all the bedding like in one wash, which is really annoying. Um, so I normally just wash like the duvet, the little sheet blanket thing and the litter sheet. So I'm gonna do all that sort of stuff now. <laughs> do it all together because that is just too much. So I've got my McGain fabric softener and I just need to grab a capsule. 
and that is my capsule so what I'm gonna do is just grab everything take it downstairs I won't have enough hands I won't have enough hands to take the camera down with me as well as like my stuff and my keys because basically I don't have a like a laundry machine in my apartment I need to go down to like the communal like washing area um so I need to go take that down um down there so I won't have enough hands to carry everything as well as like my keys and stuff whoa bless you <laughs> so I just had some um post arrive which is so cute it's a late mother's day card so if you don't know I am like a full-fledged like cat mum right cat like my little baby right which is my life okay so basically mother's day was last weekend but obviously i'm in the us um so post takes a very long time to get here but look i got a little mother's day card how stinking cute it says mum the card is better than your present um and then it just says like mom happy birthday happy birthday happy mother's day love from retouches my cat and a little gift card in there as well which is super duper cute i love it ah the card's so cute okay i can't remember what i'm saying but my neighbors are just walking past it was really awkward and i don't like vlogging because my window is wide open because that's another thing that i like to do um when I have a cleaning day is open every single one of my windows so obviously that's what I've done but what I'm gonna do now is tackle this because it is smeary and I need to clean that mirror because that mirror is minging so I'm gonna put on some music but let's get into this can I trust my emotions is it the heat of the moment? Cause my heart just exploded When I saw your face Cause your eyes held me captive Ooh. I ain't asking for ransom And I'm still not reacting What am I waiting for? Am I afraid? Am I afraid? I wanna talk to you I should've known, I should've known I should've stopped for you Ooh. so i've just been outside for the last hour in the sun because honestly it's so warm my arms got a little bit fresh because outside was thoroughly in the sun but it's so warm out there it's actually perfect weather to be sat outside I was just chilling on the grass for a little bit um and my washing's finished so i've taken out my um duvet and well got it ready to put on the bed and then i put the load of darks on that I put on earlier put that in the dryer and then I put all my colours in the wash as well and then I've just got my whites and lights to put on once that lot's finished so we're getting there now I just need to put the duvet on it's always a workout it's like the worst thing to do and it honestly takes forever to do as well I think I'm just really bad at it to be fair 
She may be pretty, she may be smart She may be funny, she's changed your broken heart I'll never be her, although I try She may seem perfect for you, but so am I And I know it's wrong to take what I like But I hope there's trouble in paradise You seem to think that you'll be the one But I don't, cause I know She makes you smile, she makes you laugh She makes you happy in ways I never have I try to hate you, find faults of crimes But your only fault is a hell no longer mine And I know it's wrong to take what I like But I hope there's trouble in me You be the one, but I don't Cause I know I've just been sitting down for the last half hour because obviously I was waiting for this to dry and I just got a bit carried away and got in that infinite scroll on TikTok. But now my other load of washing is finished, so I need to go and take the dry stuff out and up back here, put the wet stuff in the dryer and put my lights in. Wash as well. Almost done. Slowly getting there. But yeah, I am gonna go and sort out my 50 million loads of washing <laughs> i fully am the worst vlogger ever um it's a bit later on in the day it's like gone six it's 20 past six right now um and i've just had my takeaway i had um a burger from the shake shack and i tried their new well they're not new they're new to me um parmesan fries they were so good the parmesan oh with the fries oh it's just so good it came with a sauce i wasn't too keen on the sauce but the actual fries are really nice and definitely worth paying the extra dollar to get that. Um, now I'm having my shake and I kid you not, nobody does a cookies and cream milkshake like America, but especially Shake Shack. Shake Shack do it incredible. Like you get the chunks of like the white stuff from like the Oreos, like the cream. Oh, it's just so good. It's, just um, it's Sunday. I completely forgot I was vlogging today. It's currently like 10 past 12, something like that. Um, and I am just heating up my pan, ready to put my bacon in. It's another sunny blue sky day, so I'm gonna sit outside today and probably just spend the whole day outside really because it's a really nice day. I wanna get a bit more of the sun. Time going, I burnt my skull, which is really awkward. Um, and getting a bit of sun so i want to get a bit more color on me yeah spend the chill day outside because tomorrow i'm back to it i gotta go shopping go for a walk because it's meant to be even warmer tomorrow so i am gonna you know do a bath shower go shopping like food shop and i'm gonna go for my daily walk the tuesday is gonna be a super long day for the murder mystery film premiere uh, so it's going to be a pretty busy hectic sort of day um coming up so i am just gonna take a chill one today because i need to get mentally ready for a super hectic next couple days i am the worst vlogger ever and i don't even know why i try and vlog anymore because i know that i'm absolutely rubbish at it i am so sorry it's been two weeks no it hasn't well, it's been just over a week since I last vlogged. I last vlogged on a Sunday, I think it was. 
And then Monday, I was actually lucky enough to get tickets to the Murder Mystery 2 film premiere. And that was the best day of my life. I've Jennifer Aniston. I'm the biggest Jennifer Aniston fan. And I absolutely love like, Adam Sandler. And I love the first Murder Mystery. So being able to go to that one to the second Murder Mystery in the cinema and do the whole premiere aspect of it, like go to the red carpet itself, was incredible. So I woke up incredibly early and we went incredibly early and it was 100 million percent worth it we managed to get on the red carpet the first 25 people in the queue got on the red carpet of which we were the third and fourth people on the red carpet which was incredible i cannot believe it happened i'm going to insert some videos and photos of it all here And as you probably have seen, I met Jennifer Anderson. <laughs> I actually got a photo with Jennifer Anderson. She's literally my idol. If you all know me, you'll know how much like she means to me. She's literally my idol, my inspiration of someone being an actor. So I look at her in like an inspiring, idolizing sort of way. And I actually managed to get a picture with her. I spoke to her. She signed my thing. Well, her and Adam both signed the poster that we were given. It's a Miss Mystery 2. But I got a little hat. I'll show you everything else, just not the signed poster because I don't want someone to um, steal it. But basically, this is my cinema ticket. So after the premiere, we got these tickets to go to our seats. I was on the balcony left, row EE, -E, seat seven. And this is our ticket. So yeah, we got to see the actual screening of it as well before like everyone else. We got this little freck, obviously it's set in Paris. We got this little beret, is it beret? Is it called something like that? One of these little hats that say Murder Mystery 2 Netflix on it. We got given these on the red carpet, which is why I'm wearing that hat in like the photos and videos and stuff because we got given them. It was absolutely incredible. And, and then unexpectedly, I also went to Jimmy Kimmel on the Tuesday. It's been quite busy, um, which I, I don't really have, I'll post a couple pictures and I think I've got one video now. <laughs> The night I went, Jason Bateman was there and I think her name was Ali Wong, I think it is. So Jason Bateman and Ali Wong were both there and they were the guests, which was amazing. I love Jimmy Kimmel. I've watched so many like clips on YouTube of it. Obviously we can't watch the whole thing in England, so 
I've never actually been able to see a whole show so it was awesome to be there for the filming of it and be in the audience and there's a few times I've watched it back and there's a few times that you can like see me because I was wearing a bright pink blazer so you can see my pink blazer in the audience which is super funny but I absolutely had an amazing time. Um, Friday I went to a taping, I was in uh, the live audience taping for a new sitcom called, well for now it's called We Thought We Were Done but it may possibly change but if you do google the name we thought we were done it does come up but it's still a working title so it may change um but abigail um oh, i've completely forgotten her name abigail something i'll probably put it up here on text in a second because i'm gonna forget it now but abigail something was from she's from Grey's anatomy she plays megan hunt in Grey's anatomy and she's in it and it was incredible to see her in person um, and she's acting a completely different role she couldn't get more opposite if she tried and it is so incredible to see like these talented actors being so able to like play like so like diverse characters I think it's incredible she's such a great actress and she was lovely as well um, and just watching the whole thing all the actors in it were amazing they were hilarious great comedic actors and it was just so amazing seeing how these things film and stuff in Hollywood um, obviously yeah as I've said I, I want to be an actor so it was very incredible to see these these people working like actually working in all the behind the scenes of it and stuff as well it was pretty awesome and I'm so glad I got to do it and yeah hopefully I get to go again because it's still filming um, this was only the third episode as well so pretty crazy I've had a pretty busy week and I start my acting classes on Thursday so um, I've, I've got some homework for that, I had to get a book um, for it and I need to do two self-tape, well I filmed, I've done one self-tape already, I just need to do another self-tape which I've written my script for, I just need to film it. So yeah, it's been um, a busy week, it was just going to be a weekend in my life in LA but I'm sort of now just telling you about how my, like obviously you've seen my weekend because I did film my weekend but now you're seeing my week as well. So yeah, it's been, it's been a week for sure and I still can't believe it's happened. It's now Monday by the way, Monday the 4th or something of April. So it's been an incredible week. I am so, I'm feeling so lucky and grateful that I've been able to do this. Like even though I'm the one that's paid for it, I'm the one that like literally worked my butt off to be able to afford to do this, to be able to be like mentally ready to be able to do this, like to find all these things, to come out here all on my own at 20. Like, I'm proud of myself. I really am. I have grown so much over the last two months. I still have a month left, but I know it's gonna fly by because I do have a few, as I say, I've got my acting classes now for the next four weeks and I've got some uh, more tickets for Jimmy Kimmel and tickets for James Corden. So, I'm quite busy oh and I've got tickets for America's Got Talent tomorrow actually so I am gonna be quite busy I feel like I've achieved a lot and I've come really far and I've just obviously living on my own for one is a huge thing but then going out on your own is a completely another step like everyone always says they don't like going out to restaurants on their own or they don't like going out to like parties or events and stuff on their own but I've done it and I I can't express to you how much of an introvert I am and how much I like hate talking to people and how much how shy I get and how awkward I find these situations like even as someone that wants to be an actor but it's it's common practice to be like that. I'm really proud of myself and I'm really excited for the next well four weeks. Overall I just want to take a minute to actually appreciate myself and take a moment to say that I am proud of myself because honestly this is a huge 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 thing for me and I believe I've done it and I can't believe I'm still doing it like it's surreal my life literally feels like a dream at the moment and I could not be more grateful but I'm also so proud of myself for actually working hard for it because I worked I hopefully I can get a few more vlogs out while I'm still here probably not vlogs because can't really vlog. I'm not very good a vlogger, I think we've learned. But um, at least get a few more videos. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, see the rest of my journey in LA and the rest of my journey to becoming an actor. Um, and yeah, just to, you know, 
spread the love um and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you all for watching bye